Hey guys, I'm back with another video. If you don't know it, <coughs> I'm Drew or Drew Roberts, which one the crap you want to call me. If you don't know here, smash that subscribe button <coughs> and turn on notifications for future videos. And right now I'm at my grandma and grandpa's house. Yeah. In their basement because I was here earlier. And my mom is talking to my grandma and grandpa. Oh uh, yeah, and that's some pretty much old stuff down here, if y'all can see that. So, yeah. I don't really want to get back watching this stuff. Wait, that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm on my grandma, I'm on my grandma's computer right now. So, yeah. not but in my mind you really shouldn't be going out here you piece of shit he's, he's one of those guys that likes to be top dog and then when he was in the army like he had respect he had people like yes sir and it was a lot of strict discipline and routine and respect back and forth and everything and then when he comes back to real life it's like he doesn't have that so he kind of goes a bit crazy and then he brought he said he brought me to the batting cages Taught me how to play the game, then I became an actual baseball player. But then he gets mad when I put it in at the body cages. Like, come on, David. Fair enough, Javier's being a bit of a clothing shitbag, and I hate people who do that. But at the same time, you're being a bit unreasonable, but. Javier's a decent guy. Maybe we should lay down the law. No, that's your responsibility. You should be the one fucking staying. Not that it's gonna change anything. It's your family, David, not mine. You gotta stay here to help them. Typical selfish. You don't know shit about family. Selfish? What? Come on. I want to get out of here now. So did he just fall back into that lifestyle when everything went to shit? And everything, like the zombies came out, so then he was like, Oh, hey, I can talk down to people now, and people talk up get to it. me and shit like that. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. Thanks, huh? I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Ronnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell you. I'm sorry about that, guys. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you, Ronnie. Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. And she needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Okay, but she's lying. And we're telling the truth, then you're all in danger. Oh, by the way, them two are brothers, if you're wondering. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. Uh, Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated Blaming that. him won't help anything right now. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this. Making the same stupid mistakes. Fight for your family. Remember when you want to run away and you listen? Yeah, you talked me out of it. And you fought to keep your family. You can do it again. Now. So you didn't re-enlist. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's going to happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They got to survive, no matter what. Already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. 
All of us. All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. Ho Kim seems a bit uh, out of place. We can beat this together. If y'all can see that, comment down below. I can see that. Yeah, bro! So I glad mean, to see you boys getting along. David's still kind of a piece of shit sometimes. But Are Joan's worse. Basement? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. Let's go along with it for now. You've got the guns. You set the time. I'm glad you're willing to work with me. of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joe. What about you? You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. So she raided all the other villages and towns and everything to get supplies because long winter. I don't know if that's the full story. She's still a piece of shit, though. Guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.